In this tutorial, I will explain how to use emails in AwareIM. AwareIM applications can send emails, these are called outgoing emails, and it can receive email emails, these are called incoming emails. We will talk about both outgoing and incoming emails in this tutorial. Let's start with the outgoing emails. Let's recall our banking application from previous tutorials that manages customers and their accounts. Let's say that we need to send an email to the customer when his account is activated. In order to send emails to entities represented by business objects, such as customers, these business objects should be made intelligent. Intelligent objects are those objects capable of communicating with an application. So the first thing we do is make our customer object intelligent. Here I have the customer object. To make it intelligent, I tick the intelligent checkbox here. This automatically activates the intelligence tab where we can specify the intelligence properties of our object. The intelligence type must be person or organization. And we must also specify the communication channels that the object supports. For emails, we must select the email channel and make it the default one. We should also set the properties of this channel. We need to define email specific settings such as the address of the email host, email port and other parameters. These are the values that should be given to you by your email provider. You can use any email provider of your choice for example, Gmail, Hotmail, and so on. You can specify these values directly here, or you can make it the user's responsibility to provide these values at runtime if you select the Use Values from System Settings object radio button. The latter option can be quite convenient if you want your system administrators to define their own values. We select this radio button, and I will explain how to specify these values later. Note that when we define an email channel for the object, AwareIM automatically added the email address attribute to this object. The value of this attribute will be used as the email address to send an email to. Now that we made the custom object intelligent, we need to define the email itself. Emails in AwareIM are represented by notifications. A notification representing an outgoing email must have certain required attributes defined, such as the subject of an email and the body. You can create a notification representing an email by selecting the Add Outgoing Email Notification command from the pop-up menu. This will create the notification with all the required attributes defined. I will go through each of them individually. The CC and BCC attributes represent copy and blind copy lists that the email will be sent to. These are just plain text fields where address lists must be separated by a semicolon. The from address represents the sender of the email. If your email settings are taken from the system settings object, then the default value will be taken from this object, but you can override it in the notification itself. The value of the from address should be the email address that is known to your email server. Otherwise, it may refuse to send an email and you will get a security error. If you want to send emails in the HTML format, then you can use the HTML message attribute for this. You can prepare a document template in the HTML format for your email and initialize this attribute with the template. For more details about document templates, watch the documents tutorial. The message attribute represents the body of the email. You can use HTML tags here as well as an alternative way of sending an email in the HTML format. Otherwise, it will be just an email in the plain text format. The subject attribute represents the subject of the email. There are two ways to use the notification. You can create a single generic notification for all your emails 
or you can create several notifications, each specific to a particular email. If you create a generic notification, you must initialize its attributes in the action that sends the email. If you create a specific notification, you can initialize the attributes by providing initial values to the attributes in the notification itself. Let's use the second approach here and create a specific account activation email. We will provide initial values of the subject attribute and to the message attribute. We will include tag expressions into the text of our email to personalize it. Tag expressions can refer to the values of the object attributes. For more details, please watch the document's tutorial. So here we refer to the customer name by using a tag expression. At runtime, a where I am will automatically replace it with the name of the specific customer. The notification also assumes that there is an account object in the context when the notification is being sent and therefore where we refer to the customer of the account. For more details about, about context, please read the user guide. Now we are ready to add a business rule to send the notification when the account has been activated. For more details about rules, please watch the business rules tutorial. The rule will be attached to the account object. And it will look like this. If the state of the account was changed to active, then we will send account activation email to the customer of the account. So we give the, na the name to the rule and save it. Note that AwareIM will automatically create an account activation email and initialize it with the initial values that we have specified. If we didn't specify the initial values, we could have created the notification explicitly using the create action. For example, in this particular case, an email will be sent to one customer only, the one whose account has been activated. Note that we can use the send action to send emails to multiple customers. The send action will send an email to all customers in the context. For example, this will send an email to all customers that match a particular condition. Let's see now how this rule works. Just before I log into the system, I want to remind you that we have a process in the application that activates the account. The process is called from the form of the account object. It displays a message to the user and changes the state of the account. At this point, rules of the account are evaluated and our rule that sends an email should get executed. For more details, please watch the processes tutorial. Now I'm ready to put the version under test and use the system in the browser. So I put my version under test and log into the browser. Before I can test my email, I need to specify email settings in the system settings object. This should only be done once by the system administrator. I select system settings from the system menu and here I have already added details given to me by my email provider. I have already prepared some testing data for our application. We can display a list of customers and open a customer that has one inactive account. Let's activate this account. I open the form of the account 
and click the Activate button to start our process. The process display a message as expected and then hopefully sends the email to the customer's email address. We can check this in the output of the AwareIM server. Let's go to the AwareIM control panel and open the output of the server. Here I can see that the email has been sent to the correct email address. Let's now talk about incoming emails. You can get aware I am to automatically register emails received by certain email accounts and perform actions based on the contents and or the sender of the received email. To do this, you need to enable handling of incoming emails in your application. This can be done using two different approaches, the old static approach and the new dynamic one. With the static approach, you can define only one email account to listen to per application. With the, with the dynamic approach, you can define as many email accounts to listen to as you like. Let's start with the dynamic approach. With the dynamic approach, you start listening to emails from a process by using the connect to email action. This action requires one parameter, an instance of the business object that defines parameters of the email account that you want to listen to. This business object is special. Most of its attributes must have predefined names that the connect to email action will use. For example, mail host, mail port, and so on. Where I am allows you to create such object automatically. To do this, we select business objects and then select add email account from the pop-up menu. Where I am also asks whether to automatically define a notification and we will answer yes. I will explain this a little later. So here we can see that Where I am has added a business object to the system with some predefined attributes, mail host, mail password, and so on. We can now use this object in the connect to email action. Let's write a process that will connect to some account. The first rule of the process will create an instance of the email account object and populate it with the values of the email account that we want to connect to. Now we can use this instance in the connect to email action. You can call this process during system initialization or at any other time in your application. Rather than calling create, you could also get the system administrator tr to create the account from the user interface and then pass this account as a parameter to the process that connects to the email using this account. The administrator can then create multiple email accounts and connect to them if necessary. To disconnect from the email account, you need to write a process that uses disconnect from email action and specify the instance of the account to disconnect from. So now that we can connect to email accounts and receive emails, how do we process the received emails in our system? When an email is received, AwareIM sends a special notification. This is the notification that has been created when we had added the email account. Let's look at it. It is called incoming email notification. It has certain predefined attributes, such as the sender of the email, the subject of the email, the body, and quite a few other attributes that are self-explanatory. When the email is received, the attributes of the notification 
are populated with specific values that you can use in your business rules. So if you want to handle incoming emails, you need to define business rules that will perform some actions based on the contents of the received email. Let's assume that in our banking application, we are always receiving emails from customers. So let's write a rule that will find the customer who sent the email and register this email as a communication record for this customer. I have created a business object called Received Email Record that will store some details of the received email, such as subject, send date, body, CC and BCC lists. The object also knows the customer that the email was sent to. Now we can add a rule. The rule will be handled when the notification is received. And it will look like this. So here I find the customer based on the email address of the received notification and then create a record of the received email for this customer, populating it with the, with the values from the notification. And finally, a few words about the static approach of connecting to an email account. With the static approach, we select just one email account to listen to for the entire application. To do this, we select the business space version and then select incoming emails from the pop-up menu. In this dialog, we can either specify the details of the account explicitly or at runtime by using the system settings object. The static approach will also create the incoming email notification and we can add business rules for this notification, just like we did it for the dynamic approach.